Okay, this is my uh, rooftop uh, monitor mount uh, in my Nissan Patrol. It's uh, folded up at the moment. It uses a uh, ball joint ram mount. And it's got a custom custom uh, fixture that's uh, fitted into the plug that covers the uh, mirror folding. Uh, monitor running just with uh, Aussie Explorer maps. Uh, when it's done up, the screen won't move. It's the screen will stay rigid, as so you can push in it quite steep. Now the tablet just sits inside a, uh, a frame, just with a bracket around each side, around the bottom and the two sides. I'm going to do this one-handed, and just uh, slides up, and just slides out. Here he's got a uh, aluminium frame. That's the underneath side. Got a ball socket on the back of the frame, and you got a ball socket up to the Fixture up the top. A RAM mount uh, monitor mount. It holds a, uh, well, in this case, holds a Samsung tablet to the roof console. I'm not going to show you how I made it, but uh, I'll show you the pieces or the components. And the reason I won't show you how how it's actually made is because you do need a milling machine to make this item. If you don't have one, it's going to be a, bit, a little bit hard. But I'll show you the concept and if you've got uh, access to one you can see how it's fitted up and how it takes the space. So the ram mount is, uh, in this case, is I use uh, two ram mount ball joints. So two of those. And uh, mount one to the back of the, uh, the bracket that I made. And that bracket holds the uh, GPS unit. And it just slides in like that. And there's the unit with the ball on the back. And then the second part of it is is to make the uh, fixture that fits into the ceiling of the car. Now that's made in two pieces, and that's uh, in this case, as I said, machined at our aluminium. And what you've got to do is in your in your ceiling in the uh, GU Patrol, under the mirror mount, you've got this plastic uh, moulded tab, which will fit onto that bracket and then it's got it's, uh, it's got a uh, cone shaped uh, sc uh, screw that will fit into there and hold, hold all that in place and that will lock that mirror so you've got to make a new piece for that to take up the rest of the bracket so the first piece is what we, what we machine is just, a, just an aluminium block and then once that's fitted into the car then we've got to make a second part that covers the mirror. So that'll go up and your mirror your mirror gets mounted sorry, I should that. your mirror gets mounted to the block in the back of that in the existing hole in the mirror we use the Allen key uh, bolt just a 6 mil and that mounts in and gets tightened down now that's now secured to, to your mirror bracket in replace of the original, the original plastic piece. Now what that gives us now, it gives us three more holes, or two more holes that we can then tap in the second piece that we've got to mill up. Now obviously what you've got to do in here, you've got to make a cavity in there to go over to cover that, plus you've also got to leave space for these two bolt holes, which will end up being these two bolt holes and that'll sit over like that and again it'll have some M6 Allen key bolts fitted into, into place and this is the second piece that gets fitted to the car then what you've got you then got four more M4 bolt holes in there the ball joint gets ram mount ball joint gets attached and then they get bolted into place you've got, uh, if you're going to make one you're going to pull it out and you'll probably measure it to yourself it's not hard to make and uh, it looks good. If you ever get rid of the car, you can always just get the uh, remove all this, reinstall the original plastic uh, bracket, and you can just replace the original plastic cover, and it's all stock again. Okay, to remove the uh, first thing you do is you've got to remove the whole uh, rooftop center console. So I've got it half undone already. It's fairly easy. You remove this first plastic clip which covers over the mirror and this is the piece that we're going to end up replacing 
with our custom piece and that'll slot into that position there. And as I say, if the ball's all removed, it actually still looks okay because it's polished aluminium. So to remove this, is the first thing you've got to do is, is a screw up inside your sunglass case. you just got to undo that screw. I've already taken that out. The next thing is, is get your fingers into this hole at the front. And with force, you've just got to pull downwards. And there's two clips there, and there'll be two clips up the back. And there'll be a cable, so don't pull too hard because you'll break the cable. So once you pull it, it'll loosen. Then it's just a matter of pulling the second, second clip off. And when it clips off, it comes off the back. I've already disconnected the cable. It's just a, a power light, and uh, that, that's taken out of the way. Okay, so here's how the mirror's originally fitted into the uh, GU Patrol. So there's the, uh, the mirror arm that goes down into the mirror itself. And there's a plastic, uh, or plastic nylon spacer that the mirror's held to. So the next step is, is just to remove, remove the uh, screws holding in. There's three screws. And that's the mirror removed with the plastic on the back. So the next step is what you do is you remove that nylon piece by undoing the screw and the little spring clamp that holds it. Okay, so now we move to the next step. We've uh, fitted our uh, new backing plate onto the mirror frame with our uh, bolt on the back and we've tightened that up. Now what it's a matter of doing is uh, using the existing holes with the original screws and fitting it back into place. Now that's fitted into place, your mirror is now secure again. So, so now, now what the next step is, obviously you've got to run some sort of uh, power supply. I've just used the existing uh, power, tapped into it. I've put in a uh, USB adapter into here, which can then run my USB device out, th out through my cable, which I'll poke out the side. You route that you uh, just reconnect any uh, power cables up, place your cable through, make sure it's all fitted in and there's nothing uh, touching or binding. And it's just a matter of reconnecting the plugs and locking it in. Now, as I say, is you can, uh, even at this stage, if, if you ever wanted to, you can just reinstall. Just the original cover back into there and it looks looks fine. Okay, so what we now do is we get our uh, outer piece which is going to hold all our ram mount. We've got our two uh, larger holes which will then fix into the new backing plate we've we've made. So and that's you can see it's also just shaped with a curve to fit in there and it's got a recess to fit over the mirror mount. So the bolt. Okay, the next piece is we get our, uh, we get our first ram mount ball and then we fit that into place. Now ram mount's uh, secure, doesn't move at all. Next we get our, uh, our ram mount fixture, put that onto our ball. And we get our aluminium bracket with the ball fitted to the back already. Clip that on, just, just do that up. So now we've got our, uh, our bracket fitted to the balls. Next part is Get our GPS unit, we can slide that in, we can plug the power in, as I say, we can fit it into place, we can lock it into place, 
it's solid, like it's me moving it. You can face it into the driver. And now you can see is the uh, finished product. On the track it doesn't move at all, it's fixed solid to the roof mount. And then you can just move your screens from there. If you wish to remove the unit, just releasing the, the ram out fixture. 